Hey everyone, we're here at the Outdoor Campus West in Rapid City with Lori, one of the naturalists, and today we're talking about bird watching and I can hear the birds chirping already. Yep, there's a lot of noise going on out here. <laughs> okay, so what, what are some things to know before we set out to go bird watching? Well, I think the things that I always think about are um, you need to um, look at the silhouette of the bird so mm -hmm. you don't need to know the color just kind of be able to describe the bird silhouette mm -hmm. and then if you take some note of the size of the bird so the silhouette and then the size and if you can relate it to something like a goose is it bigger than a goose is it smaller than a goose mm -hmm. is it smaller than a robin something that you know to compare it to and mm -hmm. then you can listen to the sound too like that that was <laughs> Cue the, cue the bird. Yeah, cue the <laughs> red-winged blackbird. Um, if you noticed, it sounded like he's saying okari. And really? so when you hear okari, that's one of those red-winged blackbirds. Oh, good to um, know. Behavior is another thing. And then the habitat. Mm. Those are the things that are going to help you um, figure out which bird it is. There's birds that are going to be in trees, but there's also going to be birds that are in bushes. There's going to be birds mm. that are around the water. We need our trusty binoculars here, right? Yeah, binoculars are always handy, especially if they're farther away. So is that the kind of the way to bird watch is you look and then you try to decipher what kind of bird it is and then you're kind of like journaling? That's, to me, that's the best way to learn your birds. Okay. If you want to learn how to bird watch, that's what I would say to do is get a little journal and write down as many of the things as you notice about the bird. Mm -hmm. Then you can go back and uh, when you get back, you can look up in your bird book what it is. The Merlin bird app. Oh. And on the Merlin guide, you type in the uh, size of the bird the main colors of the bird and what you saw it doing if it was flying or sitting and it'll give you some options of birds that it could be. Oh wow. So, and you can also record the bird sound so like if we were standing here we could record that bird song and then go to the Cornell Lab uh, website and, and upload it and, and it would let us know pretty interesting. close what it was. That's pretty cool. I could see how this could be relaxing though.